Good day and welcome to the IIHM Hospitality Chronicles show. This is a show which we are trying to now bring forward to viewers as you, showcasing our wonderful stories. Today we have with us uh, Leslie. Leslie Johnson is a semester five third year student and he has some wonderful stuff to share with you. Which we'll provide. So, welcome, Leslie, to our show over here. Thank you, sir. And uh, we are going to have these shows more often with such wonderful shows as you at uh, Pop Fires and um, something about yourself and your journey so far. Uh, so, I, I have always been a boarding school student. I, um, from nursery till class eight, I studied in Darjeeling because my dad, of course, he was uh, always traveling and there were certain uh, issues he was not able to look after two brothers of us. So my elder brothers passed out from the same school as me. Then uh, once dad shifted to Delhi, I know Phila Martini was up now, where I, uh, it was a, a different scenario because uh, Bengal and Uttar Pradesh is very different if you compare the culture and anything. And La Martini is more of a military school. You know, because the rules, the regulations, everything is very different. The discipline, the spit and sawdish. And uh, of course, the seniors over there, they were a uh, role models for us. And then in Lamartine, I excelled in sports because we had a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Like I so I represented Kota Pradesh in boxing, football, and rugby. Wonderful. And hockey, of course, if I only represent the luck now. Then after that, I, I first thought I'd either go into sports or archaeology. Uh, then one day, I was just having a conversation with the principal who's still now there, his name is Karin Farnan. So he was talking to me and then he told me like, Leslie from class 11 offers, now we are going to introduce a new subject, Kutal Management. So if you want, if you're interested, well, I was obviously a humanities student, but, and this was another avenue for us. Because he, he told me that, uh, this is a good industry to join up. There's a lot of scope, because from the building industry, you can join any industry. I don't know if that was really known within your family. Okay. By that, no worry. My is, you're the first of the lot. I'm third. The third of them. My father worked in Lingre Abbas. He was a night manager there. All oh, right. My elder brother, who was starting to be a software type student, he was first, uh, for a short span of one year, he worked with ITC Abbas in the UN South Department. And so you have a fair, my all in all. By then, you had a fair knowledge. All right. That has to go great. So when you ultimately you know, decided to join what then stores, what and uh, uh, the reason I could have stepped in trying more to put in uh, management was because of my uh, hotel management teacher because he kept pushing me and he actually guided me. Uh, so then uh, of course then we had to give our exams and go with it. Then my father was a bit skeptical that no the sun dusty level. But then my teacher guided me it was like the this uh, COVID will only be there for a couple of years. And after that, there's going to be a lot of uh, tourism out. And I think he was right. He was like, I'm at like the big tank. You know, it's, it's booming all over again. And definitely in India, for sure. So you decided to join the United IIHM. Wonderful. Great to have you over here. As we all know, within our industry, we have a major part of the training, which is the real and uh, hands-on situation. Where the uh, rubber police the road is yes, so far. A 22 weeks, 24 weeks sort of a situation. And you chose to do that in a wonderful hotel. Uh, a regal hotel, a legacy hotel. Your journey of that. I in, in done with the Obrise Sicil Shimla. Um, basically, I have five always heard a lot of what Obrise like. My dad was like, if you want to work in the industries, either going to be Obrise or Tower of Uh And of course, I've got Sandy, you know what I mean? There are many other wonderful, but he was like, yeah. Two bad as well as any one, some of them, of course, yeah. So, uh, would you like to share with us when you got inducted, you went through your uh, HR induction, you would have been told about the do's and don'ts, you have landed up as an intern over there. And this is your real first time, longish work ex during your uh, period of three years of learning. And uh, what what was, let's say, a day in the life for you over there, if you would like to Out of all the departments, housekeeping had a very balanced ship. Uh, and I, of course, love taking morning shift because after shift you have a night. So, uh, it would be, reporting would be at uh, 8 o'clock, where we would have a policing for about 15 minutes. Then after that, uh, we, they are now in the station would be by the executive housekeeper. By the executive housekeeper, supervisor's way of grooming was checked. 
or whether you're wearing your name badge, whether you're carrying your notebacks to pay extra marks. In for your, for your Latin years, no, I beat off, back in period off, and the learning in IHM over here, so you're being checked for your life. So after that, we would have, uh, so basically, if you, they see that you are able to handle the flow as a trainee for just two or three hours, they will not give you any honor. Because the ideal, because being a small hotel, they have to balance the shifts of the employee given yeah. that. So it's a boutique or there, good people. The luxury boutique. Yeah. So the uh, and we saw that protection in me. So I will be alone for two hours from uh, eight thirty till ten thirty. And was this the public day or what? The or slow, 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 slow. Yeah, the other floors. So basically, my task would be then must be uh, cleaning the land owning and all. Uh, I in case there any team my other areas of the rooms but not exactly getting the rooms yet. And in case there was a team my room request by the guest, then we would of first mention up inform supervisor that so and so as well room as requested. Any request, whether it be water or or T X to T Shashes, coffee, any is by the MNA. We had so or any within an informed supervisor and then they would guide us as to what to do. And once they uh, see that they can trust it then they would let you do that. That is the bar. A very good thing which I offer that we will give enough scope to actually learn. Because if you see the bigger brands, there's no room for mistakes. Because it's so busy and everyone is like, we need perfect work. But overall, it was such a hotel when they gave you a lot of uh, chance to make mistakes. Of course, they would help you uh, rectify it as well. But it was a lot of learning for us. By the time I left housekeeping, uh, of course, I was uh, I the names of the associates who I, would, uh, I was normally paired with was Naman sir. And sides, so they trusted me enough to give me two rooms. So, so out of the eight rooms, I would look to and they would do the review. So that's the way. And very helpful for them as well. And work was being done fast. And then after that, we would go about uh, the lunch break, tea break. Of course, there's uh, being in house sitting, there's always something happening. Yes, from the directions. Then guests would ask where to go. But sometimes guests would ask, okay, tell me something about the hotel. How how do you use this? Okay, what's the history? And so on. And me, I love history. So a lot of uh, facts which are not mentioned online in my learned after going there. So basically, um, what we would have for morning uh, briefing and our uh, evening briefing. So the evening briefing happens uh, at just after the form of five to six, and during that we have training topics. So the good thing was that it made it compulsory for trainees to take part. So they would teach us something, we would have fun activities like passing the pillow or Chinese whisper just to keep everyone happy. Yeah. A hot or a new topic on topics, if there's any the corporate has uh, mentioned any new thing to be done. So everyone was briefed about that. And then uh, with the uh, morning ship to it, do give the turn down service and me and the uh, evening support. Fact. Oh, the morning ship is the turn down service and me. It's not the evening ship because the evening ship is parts. There will be left of people anyway. As oh, wonderful. That's, that's wonderful learning. So how do you relate to the learnings that you have had within the college? These are these, uh, do you feel it was way off or do you think it was pretty much there and you learn the fitness of it in, in a luxury property right? If you talk about learning, it's actually correlated because over you de- they develop you mentally and your personality uh, on how to approach certain uh, challenges like public speaking. Most of us, we can't. But this college, we have classes like professional communication, where you die. When, if you talk about house seating only, first I was not good at making a bed, like as for hotel standard, like you have the Maitre uh, fold and the, um, the top with the book fold. We were not aware of that, but in first year and in our different levels of them, and it is automatic, we place it exactly in, you know, in this and use the question, in this and the numbers, all your minibar amenities. So, so yeah. I am put that we have a hotel in this month. Right. So, all our house seating practice happened there. Happened there. Then if you talk about FNV, we've had n number of commitments where you actually got exposure on how you actually serve. So I'm really confident on that score. Yeah. So that gave us an edge above the other 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 colleges who came. I worked in a uh, front office, housekeeping, kitchen, food uh, food and beverage, and HR. So ideally, whenever you were going for an internship, the first one week you're gonna curse like why am I doing this? Because of course work, the work hours are way different from college arts. Sure. Your legs are one numb, you yeah. cannot sleep because of the pain. But then once you get used to it and once you start, you have to actually go with an open mind. You must not go with the uh image that oh yeah, I want to do kitchen on me. What else are some of the pointers that you would like to give to the you know, uh let's say peer group or to the new gen or people who want to join industries? Like don't be scared. At first everything is tough. 
and same stuff same stuff be open to learning and never say no to work because you may it may seem like you're doing they're just pushing their work to you but you can always take that as a form of learning and once you which it is which it is and also learn how to do smart work don't always do hard work smart work makes it easier and though both for you and for the user and also for the guest and always uh, make good relations okay, and it's in point the savory french toast stuffs and uh, make good relations and try to be uh, you have to be more social for the little industry don't be an introvert if you're an introvert change that so that's what i uh, you are on stage on you're being watched you're being watched and grooming should be there of course and try to speak more english because of course uh, a lane land eating the sodium say so and that's not difficult it's not that it's actually like this yeah and also you have to start reading newspapers because of course it may seem boring at first but that's what's happening to uh, uh uh end this session with you may i with your permission do a quick round of five questions okay not sir and whatever comes to mind thanks first right without any ambitions that up about all right if not hotels then work archaeology since i've always been interested in history i was i i, I had taken uh, even my school if you could look up whether that's a 170 uh, 78 year old school and history always fascinated me from class to its your favorite destination my favorite destination would be lucknow because that city in itself has a lot of history a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, suffering my if you talk about my school itself we had taken part in the revolt of 1857 we defended the british and that uh, there's this place on the residency right so uh, a party of 57 students went and only two students returned with the principal mm-hmm. and uh, we boast of being the only school to have battle honors mm-hmm. so me being into history so that is one place which i always love and of course the kebabs and the biryanis are all there the tundera kebabs the bingo and the chok you know and the shamal and the shimal rafi and there's chicken cover your views on environment and sustainability so um basically you have to uh, if you talk about sustainability everyone is going to be like don't use plastic don't use it. but we for sure we are like okay we'll not use but we have to search for alternatives like instead of using uh, normal electricity try to use renewable sources the, and there are of course advancements being made and we have to be diverse select like, the a normal example would be to save uh, resources would be use public transport wonderful if you were to introduce i know you go to rooms division right now but i am sure one day you will be reaching the top and you will have a very keen eye on food and beverage and kitchens if there was one dish that was to sort of reflect your persona and you were to put it into a specialty restaurant of your hotel what would it be it would be the lucknow biryani of course because it looks uh, sweet and lovely from outside but there's a, a bit of spice in there right all right that's wonderful no. all right and the two years of your academic learning in a fine institution like iim which you have brought student of if there was one subject that you feel should be introduced what would it be one subject which i feel that should be introduced should be a public speaking subject because a lot of us uh, we may know how to speak english we may know the words but we don't know how to frame it and public speaking once you get the practice helps you wonderful wonderful talking to you uh, uh, leslie and all the best to you in your life in your career and within no time because you're already in 30 and your classes have started you will be where the action is okay yes want to see you there and god bless you thank you for sharing your time with us For a great hospitality career, call 9310 50,000.